Whoopee! Year of the Dragon! It's been so long. I'm so excited. Welcome to my Hey Imposter. Hello, my distant relative in the West. My nemesis in the East. I see life has done for you a lot. Really? Since when? I don't know. Beowulf. <laughs> <laughs> there, there. Good thing I don't want to be an auspicious sign and becomes a kind of kick-ass daddy that brings rain and harvest, be paraded and be loved. Well, I do enjoy a certain level of popularity in Easter. You're even the Chinese zodiac. They celebrate you for one whole year. Technically, that only happens every twelve years. Who cares? You have it all, and you have no idea what I've been through. Well, I have a TV. Seriously, what is it with you and your treasure? Last time I learned about you, you were literally drowning in gold and shot dead over a sea of fire. Holy, what made me do it? The offer that I can't refuse. And what is it? Remuneration. Put it together. You thought you're the only victim of this negative portrayal? Look what your editorial cartoonists have done to me. It's not my fault they made a mistake. You think I wanna be the fire-breathing monster that I am now? At least tell them to be more accurate about representation. <sighs> Look. I understand that Greek mythology and medieval literature have made you in Western tradition either a gold guardian monster to be slayed or, well, a princess kidnapping cycle. Ouch! But it doesn't change the fact that both of us are of profound significance to our culture. Keep going. Without you, Western literature will lose so many marvelous motifs. And Chinese people can't afford to lose you as the embodiment of good fortune and auspicious power. Exactly. And they improved your image recently. Not to mention this hot guy. Cheer up! It's the year of the dragon, and you're part of it. Get mingled, make some friends. Okay. Now tell me, do you have to do those horrible things to the princess? I haven't done that for ages. It was hard for me too. Believe me.